YouTubers. This is uh, me, uh, and I have uh, Trump on my back. Let's see if you can see it. Let's see, Trump on, yeah, Trump on the back. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see that or not. I got uh, I got Trump on my back because I believe, and uh, I believe that Trump is the only person even qualified to run. The Clintons are liars. They always have been. Bill Clinton was in fully impeached by the Senate. And one of the charges was lying under oath. The other one was the Lewinsky case, sexual misconduct in the White House. He was fully impeached. Bill Clinton was. And, you know, a lot of people, oh, oh no, he wasn't. He wasn't. He was. It's in our history books. It's, in, it's on the Internet. I mean, it's not just me saying that. This is me. I... Go up and down Gall Road right now, a lot. And, uh, like my video st states, there's a bicyclist, there's a bicycle with a bicyclist, and two arrows pointing to the east for the bicycle lane on Gall Road, in Gall Road, uh, and to the west, uh, on Gall Road, in Gall Road, not on the sidewalk. Police. Police will tell you, even in the midsummer where there is no ice and snow like there is right now where you can't even ride your bicycle on, a, on the sidewalk, there's no way. There's no way in hell you would be able to. It's way too thick. And every sidewalk that's like that is in violation of the city code. You must keep your sidewalk free and clear for people to walk on. Uh, not necessarily for bike bicyclists because cops will tell you, I've been told by cops, that... Not on for Gow Road, but for um, other roads, it's not desi designated as a bike lane. But if I'm, if there's a bicyclist in any lane, uh, anywhere in the United States, then that is a bicycle lane. You must stay within one car length per ten miles an hour behind that bike bicyclist, and you must not crowd that bicyclist by taking any part of his lane. That bicycle. Uh, that lane, that full car lane, is a bicycle lane. I can I can go over to the white line if I want. I don't have to stay over by the gutter. That whole lane is my lane as a bicyclist, and you must uh, concede to that. If you don't, then you will get sued. Uh, you know, if I get killed, you know, uh, vehicular uh, manslaughter, killed while you guys are being stupid. And don't know what you're doing, according to Trump. <laughs> that's his words. Stupid and don't know what you're doing. I mean, that's just proof. If you hit my handlebars, and I'm, I'm, you know, say in the middle of the lane, that's vehicular manslaughter. Neglect. That's very. That's very high. Uh, you know, neglect. That's ne you're, you're neglecting that. That's my lane. And that's legally, and suable, my lane. That whole lane. If you go over that white line a little bit, and if I'm right on that white line, you're the you're the one that's gonna be in trouble. If I can prove it, say with this iCam or iPhone, this is an iPhone. It's not it's not the top of the line iPhone. It's not not the best graphics. Yeah, I'm do I do all my videos with this iPhone. But you can if I if I get your license plate number. Uh, I'll, I'll know exactly where you live because that's why you update your license every year. So, I'll find I'll, if, and if if you're not there, I'll I'll find your paper trail and I'll find whatever's on the internet about you. And I'll find out where you're at, and you you, you should expect uh, a summons from the courthouse, okay, as a lawsuit, and I will sue for the maximum amount, you know. If it's, if it's not hundreds of thousands, if it's not hundreds of thousands of dollars, it's millions. And I will have your house. I will have your car. I will have your bike if you have one. I will have this. I will have that of yours for, for being stupid. All I got to do is prove myself. And with this eye cam, I can tape it anywhere on my bike. And I'll get your license plate number, and I'll find out where you live. I don't care if you're in this county or if you're in... Bumfuck, bumfuck Egypt. I'll find you. Cause you got you always leave a paper trail. And you always leave a, 
You always leave an electronic, electronic uh, mark on the internet. Especially, especially if you get sued, you know, legally sued by, by someone like me. And this is how, that's how I looked. That's how I looked. Like that, with this coat. Okay, with a Trump coat. Uh, it's a dark, dark, dark blue coat with a yellow Trump. And then I got a purple coat with a yellow Trump. <laughs> I had some police officers say, hey, I want me a coat like that. I don't know if they were being facetious or not. But <laughs> probably. But uh, I'm here to tell you, and I'm not going to be intimidated by these nutballs they call uh, monkeys with keys drivers. Okay? They do not own the road, even though they have a tank, their car. And they shelter them and protect them. They gotta be protected. Because if they're on my level, I'll guarantee you they're not gonna take my space. Um, I enjoy the UFC, you know, with Joe Rogan, the uh, announcer. Joe Rogan's uh, like a third or fourth degree black belt. <laughs> I didn't know that, man. And uh, he knows quite a bit. But the uh, thing I don't like about him is he's a, he's a pothead. He believes in pot. And uh, I, can, I can go on and on about uh, the dangers of pot and how, how many people have died from pot where pot people tell you, oh, no one's died from pot. That's bullshit. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee uh, one, of the, one of the theories is he, he died from, uh, what happened when you start smoking pot is it opens up little, little um, areas in the brain, little small pockets. If that fills up with body fluid, you're dead. Now, that's one of the theories of uh, Bruce Lee. Uh, Bruce Lee's death. Another one is Five Fingers of Death is where uh, when you're hit at a certain spot on a cer at a certain time of the day uh, at a certain PSI, pounds per square inch, you will die um, a few hours later. But um, that's Five Fingers of Death. It's, it's uh, known in the Orient. But um, because I was, I was in uh, Kung Fu Karate. Kung Fu Karate, um, uh, Okinawa, you call it Kung Fu Karate or you call it Okinawan Karate? Uh, way to rule. I was into that for a couple of years, so I know, I kind of know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm Bruce Lee's height, but I'm about 10, 15 pounds heavier. And uh, Bruce Lee never lost a fight. He never lost a fight, and he went up against people over 300 pounds because he, because he had a punching power of 300 pounds and he had lightning fast hands and feet and what happens is when you when you control yourself like that you know in the martial arts you, it become it becomes a um, reflex action instead of a thinking action and that's exactly what you want when you're fighting you don't want to have to think about it you want to re reflex and want you wanted to reflex and with me when I was taking uh, Kung Fu Karate um, Okinawan Karate Wei Chiru uh, when I was taking it, you know, people kind of thought, you know, you know, he kind of dumb, you know, he he, he doesn't, he doesn't, you know, uh, he doesn't learn it real fast. But once I do learn it, <laughs> look out, because see, that's what I'm doing. I'm thinking through the process, right? You have to when you don't know something, you have to think through it. But what I'm doing is I'm I'm putting that in a reflex action in my head where it's reflex so that makes me a dangerous person because I'm I'm going on reflex not on thinking okay so and that's that's what it takes for me to to understand every little you know movement with your hands with feet uh, with head you know uh, that's what it takes for me not all people like that like Bruce Lee probably wasn't because he, he, he was the master of all masters, Bruce Lee was. He never lost a fight, ever. And he was only like 140 pounds, but he, had, but he had a punching power of over 300 pounds. Of a 300 pound man. So that's what made him so dangerous. And that's why he never lost a fight. You know, he was Cato and, and Green Hornet and a bunch of his movies. And, but, uh, of course, he died. That's one of the persons I wanted to meet. I wanted to meet four people. Um, Bruce Lee, Michael Jackson, those two are dead, Donald J. Trump, no matter if he's president or not, um, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, of course, because he's the American dream, seven-time world champion, um, bodybuilder, uh, Mr. Olympia, and 
uh, most paid actor in Hollywood, and uh, best governor ever in California. And he came from uh, Austria, so he can't become president yet until we change that law in, in our Constitution. But anyway, before I get rambling on, going on the other something, uh, if you see a bike in any lane, doesn't matter if it's designated or not, even though all, all the, the going east and going west on the road are designated as bicycle lane. That's what that little bicyclist is with the arrows on it. That's what that is. That's not kids with chalk. Okay, that's the city putting that down. You know, that's a, that's a legal obligation. Uh, they put that down, you know, on new roads because go road is kind of a new road. But, uh, but even if it doesn't have that on there, that lane is still occupied by a vehicle, a pedal bicycle. And cops, even in the middle of summer, where there's nothing wrong with sidewalks, will tell you, yes, we want you to drive on the, on the road because that is a vehicle, even though it's a pedal, pedal vehicle. And all I'm required to do is have reflectors and a light. And I always wear the headlight like this. They call me uh, that, that minor or whatever them, them, little, them little men are. It's, it's pretty popular. I got a laugh on this one guy. He's like, yeah, you look like them. And we started laughing. It was funny. But uh, I'm just here to tell you that I'm going to make this hard for everybody until they adhere to this, to the, uh, the United States law of where there's a bicycle. That whole lane is their by their their right, not part of the lane. So you can't come on, you know, like halfway and just barely miss me. I, I'm just I'm I'm really protecting you because if you if you hit me, I go down, I get hurt. You're gonna get sued in the hundreds of thousands, you know, for my medical bills, for my bike, of course, for my time that I have to, you know, be laid up. Uh, you know, it, it, it'll get in the hundreds of thousands. And, and, and it could be even millions. But, um, I mean, it would be millions if it was, if it was a vehicular, if it was a vehicular uh, manslaughter. That would be in the millions, not by me, by my family. You, you'd you be sued in the millions, not just a, a, a punk, punk money million dollars for life. This would be in the millions. And you will probably go end up in prison for, you know, decades. Vehicular manslaughter is a lot worse than drunk driving. Uh, but I'm just here to tell you and warn you, and this is documented on YouTube. On um, today is January the 3rd, 2016. That's January the 3rd, 2016. I have not been hit yet, but I've been close. And people slow down sometimes, sometimes this is this zip, zip, zip by me going 40 miles an hour, that's the speed limit of the road. Some people just slow down and roll down the window and start saying, get the fuck out of the road, you don't belong on the road, what are you doing? And I'm in a bicycle, designated bicycle, the, the bicycle is right there, right, you know, right, right when they pulled over, just before it. That bicycle symbol was there. What the fuck are these people doing? They don't see that shit on the road? You're telling me to get off my bicycle lane, and I'm I'm within the law. I have a light on my head, if it's dusk or dark, and I have reflectors on my bike. That's all that's required. I asked the cop. That's all that's required. I don't need no turn signals. I don't need. Uh, what I need is reflectors on my bike, which are my pedals, so you can see the pedals going around, and then in the spokes, and that's all I need. And now, if it's dusk or dark, then I need a light. But I don't need a light until then. Just like a car. Just like a, oh, vehicle. <laughs> uh, it's like I'm talking to, you know, little kids. And these people are yelling out their car, men and women. I've had women, get the hell out of the, you know, road. Get the hell out of the golf go road. Designated bike. This is a designated bike lane by the city. Special paint, special reflector paint, special, uh, I don't know if it's just sand or it's thick because when you go over it, you feel it as a bump, so pretty thick. I mean, the city's going to waste, you know, that money and just put pictures there for no reason. The pictures, you know, bicyclists with the bicycle with the bicyclists and two arrows going 
east and then west on the other side of Garon? What the hell sense is the sign for? What, what was, what's the sign doing on there? Gay! I mean, <laughs> God. That's what I mean. These people are cussing at me, saying, get the fuck out of the road. You don't belong in the road. What are they talking about? Even if it was midsummer, I belong in the road. The cops will tell you that. Cops will tell you that is a vehicle that should, they can give you a ticket if, you, if you're on the sidewalk. They can, That's but they usually don't. They can give you a ticket for riding on the sidewalk with just a pedal bicycle. That's a vehicle. That's not walking. That's a vehicle. And I've had a license since I was 18. Right now, I'm uh, 57. I was born on June 19, 1958. So that makes me 57. And I'll be 58 this year. So what is that, 40 years? I've had a driver's license for 40 years. I went, I went to Indiana for three weeks to learn how to be a CDL truck driver and I passed that test so now we're going to test my knowledge of uh, the, the road we're going to test my knowledge I passed it first time I took it I passed it there was guys there that took it three four times and never passed it. they went home after the fifth time I think it was <laughs> said oh screw it because it's not it's not this it's because it's hard because it's the way the questions are asked and the answers they're very vague they're very vague but you gotta pick the right one. So I read and reread it, each one. I passed it the first time, the CDL driver's license test. I passed the first time, but I decided I didn't want to be a CDL driver, so I just went home after the three weeks. I said, nah, that's not for me. I don't want to be driving down and be responsible for you know a house going down the road, a big ass truck house going down the road. No way, no you know 40, 50 feet behind you with a big ass. You know, big rig. That's why you call them big rig. So, if we're going to question my ability to, uh, to know the law, which I know, and this is documented proof that I'm saying I know on YouTube, uh, if I were you in your car, I wouldn't be rolling down your window and, and uh, swearing at me and cussing at me and telling me to get the hell off the road. I wouldn't be doing that. I might just have my iPhone on. And this iPhone picks up voice very easy. It's, it's okay on video. It's not, it's an older iPhone. Um, it's not even an iPhone, let's see, what is this? Uh, iPhone 3, I think. Maybe 2. And now it's 6. Or 7. Maybe 8. I don't know. But they're way more advanced. And way more resolution. And I'll be able to read your license plate off of that. Where I can't on this unless I have special equipment to enlarge it, enhance it, and then I'd be able to make out where you, uh, your license plate, which is where you live within the last year. That's why the state has you re replenish your, uh, your license plate every year. That's the best, that's the best ID. That's even better than your driver's license. Or it's actually, it's not better because your driver's license does have your, your picture on it, but it's as good as your driver's license that your license plate number is. <laughs> so you ever want to find anybody? Take the license plate number down. I'll guarantee you you'll find them. <laughs> Why do you think you got that license plate? It's not just for the city uh, charging your ass. The cops don't even have to stop you right now. If they saw your license... Matter of fact, they got... They got uh, Cameras that take your pictures that go on, you know, on the highway like 70, and, and it's been proven that even if you're got a, a high, by the Mythbusters, because I like the Mythbusters, it's been proven, even with a high speed, the highest speed car ever going down the road, it's as clear as hell when, when that, when that, when that uh, camera pops up, takes a picture, and uh, it, you're, 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 you're done. I mean, you're, you're getting a ticket in the mail. And if you don't, if you moved since then, hey, that's your problem, man. Because if you get stopped by a cop, you're going to jail because you don't, you didn't know about your ticket. But anyway, and that's been proven. That camera is so damn quick; it's a clear picture. There's no way, there's no doubt about it. What your driver, your uh, your license plate number is. And that's all they need. That's the most update information on your residency. That's what that is. <laughs> So if you ever witness crime, 
don't even care about the car. Get that license plate number. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to know the car, but or the truck or the van or whatever it is. But the license plate number, boom, that's first thing. Get the license plate, license plate number. It's the most accurate information on that person because uh, it's got to be done every year. <laughs> In case you didn't know that. So if I take this, this iPhone to my bike, and record say say let's, let's say I put it you know on my handlebars so I you know just angle just enough down to get your license plate number and I decide to sue you all I have to go all I have to do is go down the uh, the um, the uh, M M M V D or let's see uh, you know where you do your license and get your license plate shit like that all I gotta do is go down there and you're done <laughs> expect the summons in the mail at your address and expect to get sued well, that's all I got to say other than today is 12 3 2016 so next time you start yelling out your window yeah, I might have my iPhone going and your voice your little, your little voice might be on my iPhone and I can sue you for that that's, uh, what is that? Depending on the threatening tone. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just trying to protect you. You want to yell at me? You see a guy named, with a trump on the back? A white, or a yellow trump on the back of, of a dark blue coat? Or a purple coat with a, with a um, it's, it's a, I think I, I think I got that on this, I don't know if I got that on this video. Or, I might even change my, my, uh, my outfits. You don't know. And you don't know, you know, you won't know if I know your address, which I probably will. <laughs> so don't think you're all protected in your little shell of a car. Okay, that's all I'm saying. I'm not making any threatening. You know, go in the theater and start shooting or go in the, uh, go in the car and go in postal. But I definitely want to be have a concealed weapon though, because like in Paris, if if anyone any person around in that room where 130 people got killed, it was a party. 138, I think it was, got killed. If any of those people would have had a gun, you would have saw nowhere near that number, because if you got two three people shooting, you got 100 people, and say 10 of them's got guns, you, you got them got you from every angle. You're done. Why do you think the cowards do that? Anybody, anybody who goes into a school, goes into a theater, goes into a grade school and shoots kids down like they're animals, uh, into a post office, why do you think those cowards do that? They know they're not going to be confronted by guns, other guns. That's why, they, and that's why they're a coward. And that's why that one guy chose an elementary school to shoot the teachers and the kids. But if the teachers had guns there, that would have never happened. Never. For, for one thing, if everybody knows the fact that schools do have guns, they, they won't even attempt that shit because they're cowards. They don't want to get killed. If they, if they want them to kill themselves, maybe, but they don't want to get, you know, be confronted. They want to do damage first and then kill themselves. They're cowards. Okay, but I definitely want a concealed weapon, and I want I want to get at least mark mark markman uh, class of of a handgun. I definitely want to. And you know, I'm not saying I'm gonna start shooting cars or nothing like some snipers have in the past. You know, sit on the hill and start shooting you know, shooting heads out in the cars and stuff. I don't I don't have that. I don't have that uh, man mandatory to do that. I don't I don't want to do that. I'm more of a person that if I'm attacked, I'm going to hurt somebody. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I don't really even care if you know if I know karate or not, or uh, judo, which I, I know judo too. Actually, I won my first fight, my first uh, mass fight in, in uh, like fifth or sixth grade. I, I put down, I, I bulldogged the dude down on the ground and choked him out. <laughs> he was a bully of the class, and everybody respected my ass after that. 
at that time, that's when I was taking judo. And I wasn't taking karate. I wasn't taking karate until my 12th grade year was, I'm a, Nor I'm a Newark 77 graduate. But anyway, so all I got to say. And today is 12-3-2016. And I hope this video helps you out. And I hope that you don't no longer, uh, you know, cuss me out and tell me to get off the road, out of my lane, out of a bicycle lane, on go road, east and west. Because you're in the wrong. If I get you on this tape, I might, I might sue you for slander. So, have a good day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I wanted to say about Hillary Clinton and uh, Donald, Donald Trump, or Donald J. Trump, or Donald John Trump, whatever you want to call him. Um, today is not 15, but 16. Dick, 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 dick. I'm acting like the monkeys with keys. Uh, they don't know what they're doing. And uh, But anyway, today is January the 3rd, 2016. January 3rd, 2016. Okay, um, um, I'm telling you right now, be forewarned, be forewarned. I'm, I don't know Trump, I've never seen him before, but I know, I know what he's about. And I had this one black guy in a car, he's going back, you know, and I was going by the street and he was, he was waiting for traffic. He goes, oh, didn't you know that Trump's going to ship all the blacks to Africa? I mean, I tried not to start laughing. Yeah, he says, oh, didn't you know that? He's going to ship all the blacks. If he becomes president, he's going to ship all the blacks to Africa. <laughs> Where'd you hear that from? Hillary, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> we know the Clintons are liars. They're, they're liars on their oath. They're liars, period. They're liars and they're cokeheads. They're definitely, they're cokeheads before they became president. But anyway. And they, they believe they're pedophile. Uh, Bill Clinton is a pedophile. It's just he isn't, you know, no one charged him with it. But uh, he, he, you know, if a, if a girl looks good, you know, even though there's 15, you know, 14, you know, 16 years old, it don't matter to Bill Clinton, he uh, has sex with them. He's had sex with, sex with hundreds of women, not just underage, but hundreds of women. He's a pedophile. Um, and Hillary Clinton was the worst Secretary of State ever. I mean, she's got a track record, a, a really bad track record. And plus the emails and other stuff, she, she's, she's a criminal. So what will happen, in my opinion, this is my opinion only, is what will happen if Hillary ever you know, got enough votes uh, to go to the White House, I ain't gonna ever say president because she don't she means she don't deserve that title. Uh, Hillary don't. And if she did, all, all all Trump has to do is take take her to court and prove the criminal charges because she's not president. Uh, we elect president what November the twelfth, you know, um, and then it's not until. Like January the 17th, I think, of 2017. So what, that's uh, about almost two months. Plenty of time to take the court. And uh, uh, all Trump has to do is prove, prove, prove uh, criminal charges. And he says it all the time. She's a criminal and she belongs behind bars for more than a decade. Behind bars at uh, a prison. For the treasonous, treasonous emails and other acts. <laughs> so, that's all Trump has to do. So, you can go ahead and waste your vote on, on Hillary. I, I'll give her a name this time. Hillary Clinton. But don't count on it. <laughs> I want to make that perfectly, perfectly clear. If you're a Hillary Clinton person... I wouldn't even I wouldn't even waste my vote because this is my opinion my opinion only Donald Trump is known for taking the people to court just to prove a point money don't mean shit he don't even accept donations donations only small ones and that's only to make the person feel good not not for any financial benefit <laughs> that's a fact 
but he, he accepts no donation where uh, Clinton's uh, Bush murder 911 orchestrator, and that's Bush, of uh, killing 3,000 people on American soil in New York City, Twin Towers, 911. That was all Bush orchestrated. He knew all about it. It was a cover up for WorldCom building. Why, what, you know, why, why didn't anybody ever talk about the WorldCom building? That went down. That's, I don't know, six or eight stories high, but it's black away from the, the, uh, the towers. It, it imploded. <laughs> Nothing touched it. Huh, I wonder why that is. No one, no one even said anything about that until now. It was covered up to all the world com, com uh, the whole thing, the whole ordeal was to cover up the world com scandals. That's it. 3,000 lives died that day, day on <laughs> American soil in the Big Apple because of the cover up, the United States government cover up of the WorldCom building and their scams. So, if you, ain't, if you don't think it's possible, go ahead and vote for her. You're wasting your vote. <laughs> Trump don't think things laying down. Let's just put it that way. He's never said what I've said. But I'm saying it now. On January the 3rd, 2016, that if Hillary Clinton gets enough votes to be in the White House, she will be sued, she will be going to prison, and she will be proven as a criminal that she is. She's a liar. And no president running will ever say or insinuate that they will put blacks in Africa if they become president or anything to that. There's n I, 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 I had a hard time you know, talking back when that black guy was saying that. Oh, didn't you know that Trump you know, first he says, oh, you want, you know, because he says, he says, you got Trump on your back? Because I think he's seen me before. But, um, I said, yeah, he's the only one qualified to run for president. And uh, he thought he was just going to be a wimp or something and not say anything, right? And uh, he goes, oh, you want, us, you want black people to go to uh, Africa? <laughs> Man, people are so damn stupid. Stupid and don't know what they're doing. I mean, that's a, that's a Trump phrase, and you're fired. But... Uh, I mean, it's, it's almost like silly, silly. For one, you know, you can be half black, half white, right? They, they go to Africa. Another, no politician or no person running, which Donald Trump isn't really a politician because he's not a liar like all the other politicians are. And that's, he always points that out. He don't like to call himself a politician because they're liars. They promise everything and give nothing. Like Obama. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I had a hard time choking back. <laughs> like, man, this guy is really dorky. I mean, think about it. Just think about it. Anybody running for president isn't going to want your black vote. They're going to say, oh, yeah, once I become president, you're going, to, you're going back to, I mean, back to Africa? I mean, are we talking generation, 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 generation back? Or are we talking... Uh, if your skin color is brown, you go back. <laughs> see, it doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> if you think about it, because uh, see, I think he's a racist. He's a white racist black guy. And, you know, so that's what they normally are. Say that he doesn't want to lose the black vote. Like that, it's it's impossible. He's going to take away your United States citizenship. How's he going to do that? <laughs> I mean, I, I could go on and on about this. And legally, there's no way in hell that they can do that because there never was any way in hell to do that. Even even before 
they were able, blacks were able to vote, and women, women to be able to vote. Even before that, we would have shipped you off then. They can't, though. It's all about citizenship. It's about the law. It's about this, it's about that, you know. Just think about it. If someone, some black guy, or some Mexican or whatever, says, oh, yeah, they're going to ship all those Mexicans back to Mexico. <laughs> just think about that. Come on, let's think. Let's think. Let's don't be stupid and don't, don't know what we're doing, like Donald Trump is always saying about our government. He's always saying it about the government. But let's don't do that. Come on. I, I couldn't even believe that guy. I, I had a hard time. I had a t Oh, he goes, like he knows something. Oh, okay. Like he knows something, which he don't. He's stupid. As soon as he said that, I'm going... Oh boy, and here we go, here we go on Trump, Trump's famous words, stupid and don't know what you're doing. That's what I was thinking. Here's a black guy, he's stupid and he don't know what he's doing. And like a lot of white guys are. And uh, a lot of Mexican, I, I don't disgrace between men and women. That's, that's a race. Men is a race, women is a race. I don't discriminate between either one. Even sexually. So if you don't like that, you can... You, you can just don't talk to me or don't don't bother me because I'm the most righteous sexual person around I don't care male or female I cannot I cannot sting, distinguish race I'm not racist and I won't be racist I don't give a damn what the government says I don't care what anybody says I don't care what uh, the Bible says I don't care what anybody because anybody who distinguishes, like a straight couple, you know, man and wife, woman, which are racist, gays are racist, the only, the, per, the only people who aren't racist is bi, where it doesn't matter if it's uh, man to man, man to woman, woman to woman, it doesn't matter. I'm not racist, and I won't be racist. I'm the most righteous person, as far as sex goes, as you will ever find, bud. Okay, whatever. I just want to tell you about the Hillary Clinton and Trump thing. And it's guaranteed that <laughs> Hillary Clinton will never become United States President. She never will. Trump ain't going to allow it. He's got legal means. And she'll be in prison for probably over a decade if she wants to go that route. Trump don't take shit laying down. So that's all I got to say. On January 3rd, 2016. Hope you watch all my videos. And you know I'm not racist. You know I'm not male. Male to male race, I'm not male to female race, I'm not female to female race, I'm not racist. And the United States is racist, and always has been. And this is a racist race for the White House. The race of male against the race of female. It's simple. It's like Trump. Race is one year group. Election by race. Consistent. There's no way in hell you're gonna lose that right. 
the way the way the way uh, you lose uh, well you don't lose the right the way is the illegal alien now they yeah they'll they'll go back to where they came from wherever it was at or oh, Mexico probably Mexico and, yeah they're in the United States illegally and they kill murder and, and uh, bug up our jail system where it costs drugs billions of dollars a year when they're not even supposed to be in the United States and that's what comes to mind and that's not illegal not legal I am tell you he's married to a person that was born outside the United States, an immigrant. He was married to two immigrants, and one that was in the United States. So he's been married and divorced three times. So it's not the immigrant. It's the illegal immigrant. See, that's where people are dumb and stupid, don't know what they're doing, because he points it out all the time in his video, his, his YouTube videos he makes every, every week or so, or every three days, something like that. I watch them all. So I know Donald Trump, and I know he's the only one qualified for the United States uh, presidency 2016. He's the only one qualified. Thanks a lot. Watch all my videos. I have more, over a thousand of them.